hello guys welcome back to techdoors and in this video we will see the remove duplicate letters problem which is from lead code number 316 and uh, the data structure involved is a monotonic stack so before looking at the problem statement i would like to announce about our dsa live training program which is a 3 months live training course and in this course your commitment will be to solve 2 to 3 problems per day and we guarantee that you will improve your interview results and you will definitely improve your conversion rate of cracking an interview so that you can get the best possible package you can using the counter offers now you will also be provided guidance throughout your preparation program throughout the course and even after the course whenever you require and you will be given performance based referrals if you actually perform well if you are done with the assignments then we will refer you to the companies you like and uh, this will involve live doubt clearance as well and we will discuss all the topics from basic to advanced in a detailed way now in order to get more information about the course you can contact on our whatsapp only number which has been shown here and we are starting on first week of june now let us look at the problem statement now in this problem it is said that given a string s remove duplicate letters so that every letter appears once and only once you must make sure your result is the smallest in the lexicographical order among all possible results so let's look at some examples in order to get a better understanding now in this case let's assume that your string s is b c a b c now according to the problem we have two goals the first goal is to remove the duplicate letters now if we remove the duplicate letters from the given string we might have multiple strings possible so if you can see it is b c a c a b b a c a b c and there may be other possible strings as well but all of them must be of the same length which is the number of unique characters now once we are done with the first constraint the second constraint says that we have to take the smallest lexicographical string in our answer now out of all these possible unique letter strings we have to take the smallest one in the lexicographical order we can take the smallest one in this case it will be abc and so the result will be abc in this case for this example now how to solve this problem now let us look at the simplest solution which is possible so if the given string is bc abc then what we can do is we can try to take all possible subsequences that is we will generate all possible subsequences all possible unique subsequences which is the same as the decision tree diagram of the 01 knapsack as we can take two options for each item you can assume each letter being an item and uh, you can either exclude the item or you can include the item so each of the letters will have two choices so if the size is n then you will have a total of 2 to the power n such combination by multiplying all the possibilities right so the second thing which we can do is we can return the lexicographically smallest string as our answer so we can solve this by using the backtracking in order of 2 to the power n time right so this is the simplest solution possible and and obviously this will take a lot of time and if you look at the problem constraint it says that n is less than equals to 10 to the power 4 so 2 to the power 10 to the power 4 will be an extremely large number which will actually not pass in our test cases so we should always aim at something less than equals to 10 to the power 8 operations in order to pass on lead code or even in the interview so this is definitely not going to pass but this is the simplest possible solution now what to do you can think about maintaining the increasing order of the string so that all the letters are uniquely included right so how to maintain the increasing order now if you have studied stack then you will know that you can use a monotonic stack and maintain either the increasing order which is the monotonically increasing stack or the decreasing order which is the monotonically decreasing stack now in this case it is about the increasing order maintaining the increasing order and the second constraint was you do not include letters more than once so let's try to maintain the increasing order now if you maintain the increasing order using a stack now what will happen now let's just uh, process the example number 1 now in this case if you see b the stack is empty so you will push b into the stack and you go to c now c can be pushed over b because b is a smaller letter right so c can be pushed over b now when you see a then a cannot be pushed over c otherwise it will it will cease to be a increasing order stack right 
so in order to make it a monotonically increasing stack you will have to keep popping out the elements from the top of the stack unless either the stack is empty or you find a smaller element than a so we will pop out this c and b and then the stack becomes empty so you can push this a on top of the stack now you go to the next element which is b now b is larger than a so you can push b over a and then you can go to c and you will see that okay c is greater than b so you can push c over b now what were the unique letters in this case the unique letters were a b and c they had different frequencies but these were the unique letters so in this case you will see that if you form all possible unique uh, strings or the unique subsequences whatever you can get you will see that abc will be the smallest one and you got the correct answer here which is abc this is completely fine now let's use this technique in order to solve the second example now in this case we will again start with b and so let's push b on top of the stack because the stack is empty now you see that you get a c so c is larger than the top of the stack so you can push c over it now when you see a a cannot be pushed on top of c so you pop c now b is also larger than a so you pop b now you can push a into the stack and then you see b and you will push b on top of the stack because a is a smaller element and then you are done with the entire parsing of this entire string and whatever you get you got ab ab is shown as an answer but you will see that in this case our unique letters are abc so definitely whatever is the answer will definitely contain abc in some order but you see that it is not including the same okay so in this case the answer should have been bca and not ab so this is a wrong answer now what went wrong in this case the problem is that we are just maintaining the increasing order but we are not caring about the frequency of the elements right so let's try to solve that problem so the problem is we may remove something which may never occur in future so we saw in the second example that we were removing this c when we saw this a but since c is never occurring in future it is not occurring in future so i should actually stick with c i should never exclude this c from the top of the stack it should always be present in the stack but we are removing it so we should not have done this in order to avoid this problem we have to track the frequency of each character and make the decisions based on it so let's look at an improved solution which is we will maintain the increasing order using a stack and we will also maintain the frequency of each element and let us try to solve this example which is b c a b now in this case when we see b i will push b in on top of the stack then when i see c c is larger than the top of the stack so i'll push c over it when i see a i mean whenever i keep including the elements i will have to keep decreasing the frequency of that element right now when i see a then a can i remove a i mean this c from top of the stack so since c is larger i should remove it but then you will have to check if c will ever occur in future if the frequency of c is actually zero then it is never going to occur in future and so i cannot remove it and uh, if the frequency is larger than zero then i can remove it okay because i will include it later in this case the frequency is zero so i so i should not remove it and instead i will push this a over it right and when i push this a the frequency will be zero the frequency of a will be decremented by one now when you see this b now b is larger than a so b will get included and the frequency becomes zero and in this case the answer is said to be b c a b but you will see that this answer is also not correct this is a wrong answer because the answer is actually b c a we should include all the elements exactly once we should not include them more than once so how did this problem come the problem came because we are actually not tracking the elements which we have already included right we are not tracking it so we have to track such elements so the problem is we may include an already including letter i mean the already included letter so the solution for this is to track included letters using let's say a visited array okay so now we will further improve the solution and in this case we will say that we will have an increasing order we will maintain an increasing order uh, element stack by using a stack we will maintain the frequency of each letter by using an array and we will also take a visited array in this case i have named it as scene 
that whether we have already seen that element and included it in the stack right so let's process the given example b c a b now in this case when i see b i will push this b on top of the stack because the stack is empty and so i will have to decrease the frequency of b and i will have to also mark b as seen okay because b has been included into the stack now when i see this c then b is actually smaller so i can push this c over it but before doing that i should see if c was already included in the stack so it was not included because it is marked as false so i'll mark it as true because it is now in getting included and the frequency of c will also decrease to zero now when we see a then we will see the top of the stack it is c first we will have to see if a is already included you will see that it is not included because the scene is false here now we will compare it with the top of the stack and you will see that c is a larger element so should we pop it in order to see if we can pop it we have to check if c is going to ever occur in future you will see that since c's frequency is zero it is never going to occur in future so in this case you cannot remove this c and so when you cannot remove this c and if a was never included you have to include a here and then decrease the frequency of a and now you move on to the next element right so a is seen now now when you move to b then first thing you check is if b is already included you will see that yes it was true that b was already included and if it is already included i will just decrement the frequency because i have seen this element and i'll just move on to the next element and this is how we will process the entire string and whatever gets into the stack you will get bca and that is your final result so you saw how we transitioned from maintaining an increasing order using a stack and also including the frequency so that something doesn't get removed which is not getting occurred in future and then we also included the visited array which is a scene array in order to solve all our problems right so i hope you understood why we did a combination of all these three data structures two arrays and one stack now the time complexity is just order of n because we have parsed this entire string only once and the random access on the frequency and scene array is just order of one so the time complexity is order of n let us now look at the code in this code you can see that the string s is given and i have taken a frequency array which is for 26 letters since the constraint says that s consists of all the lowercase english letters so i have found all the frequencies and then i have taken a monotonically increasing stack and i have also taken the vector scene which is an array scene which will mark all the elements which have already been seen this is the loop which will process all the elements one by one so whenever we see a character we will see if it is already included into the stack so if it is already included into the stack i will not process it i will just decrease its frequency and continue to the next item of in the for loop otherwise if it was not included then i will check the number of items to be removed from the top of the stack right i will have to check how many items i can remove from the top of the stack so if the stack is not empty and also the top of the stack is having a larger element than the current item then we will check for the frequency that the frequency of the top of the stack must be greater than zero so that i will be sure that it is going to occur somewhere in future because if it is not going to occur somewhere in future i cannot remove it from the top of the stack and after removing all the items if it is possible or not possible after that we are going to push the current item on on the top of the stack and uh, then we will mark the current items seen that means the visited as true and i will also decrement that items frequency okay and once all the items have been processed that is all the letters have been processed then the stack will actually contain the entire string in the reverse order so we will have to take out all the items and uh, we will have to push it into our answer answer string and finally we will return the answer string as our result okay so this entire operation takes order of n and this is by using monotonic stack so i hope you were able to understand the entire explanation if you are interested and serious about interview preparation for your upcoming interview drive or for your upcoming interviews then you can contact us on our whatsapp and get the entire details of the live interview program if you like our video then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you